One of the biggest tools at our disposal is our national budget. We must see the national budget as a strategic financial plan to position ourselves for the future. The budget reflects our values and our priorities. It deploys finance to achieve our national goals and objectives. Hence, we want to craft this budget in partnership with Singaporeans. Our priority must be to help our businesses to innovate, go regional and build capabilities. At the same time, we must help our workers to upskill and reskill to seize new opportunities and good jobs. Next, supporting Singaporeans. Even as we undertake the transformation of our industries and workforce, we must ensure that our people are supported. We will continue to support and enable young families. Challenges faced by young families include financial costs and the lack of caregiving arrangements. As family sizes decrease, there could also be less family support. So we will continue to ensure that families have access to quality and affordable housing and good caregiving arrangements. Next, ensuring sustainability. Climate change is an existential threat, not just to us, but the rest of the world. Moving forward, we must continue to come up with strategies to encourage companies to adopt greener technologies and yet stay competitive. And we'll take the first step in 2021 and subsequent steps will depend on economic conditions. We know that many Singaporeans are concerned about the cost of living. In this regard, we have many schemes to help Singaporeans manage cost of living for major expenditure items, including housing, healthcare and education. However, despite this, we also know that in this economic situation, some wonder if they will be able to manage going forward. We're considering how best to support Singaporeans through this period. We welcome suggestions from the public on what forms of support might be useful and sustainable.